Hi everyone. I would like to read from my book, Eros and Psyche. Eros and Psyche was written almost 2,000 years ago by Lucius Apollouis. He was a mystic and he was a student of Plato. And in the story, the oracle declared, Psyche will not wed a mortal man. And Carl Jung was right on target when he talked about Eros. Now, primordial Eros is about love, the spirit of love of the universe. And Carl Jung says, Eros belongs on one side to man's primordial animal nature, which will endure as long as man has an animal nature. Now, when a lot of people think about Eros, they're talking about erotic love. Uh, sex, so the animal nature is sex, but on one side, he's related to the animal nature, and on the other side, he is related to the highest forms of the spirit. But Eros only thrives when spirit and the animal instinct are in right harmony. And Carl Jung was getting this from Symposium, Plato, Plato's Symposium. And in Symposium, the high priestess talked about Eros, that Eros was the most important spirit, and all spirits occupy the middle ground between mortality and immortality. So in terms of soulmates and twin flames, the deepest, most profound eternal love, it is occupying these two realms, the realm of mortality, the ego, and the realm of immortality, the soul. And it's not just about animal instinct of sex. It has to occupy the middle ground between the spiritual and the animal nature. So, you know, we live in the world, in this world, where the animal nature rules. And we haven't really jumped over that hurdle into spiritual. So I hope you could get an insight into Eros and Psyche because Eros is not a part of our world. We have Cupid and they're totally worlds apart. So pick up my book, Eros and Psyche, an ancient soulmate twin flame story. And visit my website at www.serenajade.com dot co